Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see what are virtual machines and we are going to install a GNU Linux Ubuntu distribution within a Microsoft Windows environment thanks to a software which is named VirtualBox. So let's get started. Okay, um, so the first thing that you need is a software which is named virtualbox.org that you need to uh, download and install on Windows. So it's uh, very straightforward. All you need to do is to go on virtualbox.org and download VirtualBox according to the Microsoft uh, Windows version that you are running. Once uh, you have it, you will uh, just install it and you will have um, a window such as this one. And then what you need to do is to have, of course, uh, what we call an image. So let's say, uh, the software for the operating system. And in our case, uh, we would like to install a GNU Linux Ubuntu distribution. So you need to go on ubuntu.com slash download and then uh, to download the distribution that you would like uh, to have. And once you have it, you just need to run the installation program. So you just need to click here on new. And then once you click here on new, you need to give a name to your machine and then uh, to explain where the uh, folder will be. Then you pick up the uh, Linux and then uh, the uh, version of Linux here, just have a kind of a display bug, but you have the, the name of the version which are uh, properly written. So here you just pick up the one which correspond to the distribution that you would like to install. Then you decide how much memory size you would like to give to your um, machine. And then you just click here on create and you will see that uh, you have um, um, installation process, but which is very, um, very short. And once it's done, you will get actually your uh, Linux running within uh, your Windows. So here, as you can see, I'm under Windows, but within Windows, uh, I have my emulator, which is uh, VirtualBox and VirtualBox is running now my uh, Ubuntu. So uh, you can actually access to all the different features. So in my case, for example, my Microsoft Windows was connected to the internet. So as a result, I'm as well uh, having an internet connection and I can use uh, the browser of uh, the GNU Linux uh, distribution here. I can also use uh, the terminal or any other uh, software that I can install on this given distribution. So for example, here uh, I can write whatever I want, right? But if I write like this, you will see that the search is completed and I get my internet um, access uh, working properly and I can use uh, the, uh, the shell of this distribution. It's no, it's no big deal. I can do uh, whatever I want up here. Okay. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch off uh, my uh, virtual machine just to show you that uh, the different steps. So here I just Yep. Okay, so now it's closing down. And uh, here, as you can see, so my machine is going to be stopped because I ask it to be closed. So I'm just going to, let's say, like, yep, do it like this. And then, sorry for that, sorry for that as well. And now I'm just going to uh, reload my virtual uh, box software just to show you the different steps that we are going through when we install. Um, a new machine. So you click here on new, as I showed you before, you just go for Linux, you just go for the Ubuntu one, and then you select the memory size, it corresponds to the RAM of your machine. So for example, here you can go for 10 giga. And then once it's done, you give a name, so it can be whatever you want. Okay, I'm just going to call it O. I'm just going to oops, put it back to like 8 giga. I'm just going to click on create. Uh, file allocation, uh, it's the hard disk space that you would like to give it to your machine. So you just click here on create. And once it's done, you get your machine, which is up here. And when you click here on start, it's going to ask you actually, where is the download image file of your distribution? So this is what you downloaded on uh, ubuntu.com. Uh, so here I just need to click here on the folder in order to show my downloads file where I downloaded my Ubuntu download file. And then if I click on uh, proceed, I will have uh, the possibility to install straight away my distribution on this computer. And I have nothing else uh, to do. And you will see after something like 20 to 30 minutes, you will have 
your GNU Linux Ubuntu distribution up and running. And that's it uh, for the video of today. So in order for you to really understand how to install GNU Linux Ubuntu and Microsoft Windows, the best thing to do is actually to uh, redo exactly the same tutorial that I just uh, show, and you will see that you will succeed to install your first uh, distribution of uh, GNU Linux on your computer. I really hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, video. Please do not hesitate to share it, to make your own video, your own tutorial with your own experience and share it with others. Thanks for watching.